the partial volume effect. So let's take a look at an example to understand what this is. This is a cross section of a piece of rock that it has five different phases. You might remember this one from the second episode about data analysis. We used this one as an example. So this image has pretty distinct five uh, gray levels. You can even see five peaks in the histogram. So you can simply set thresholds to segment this image like this. But what if we use machine learning, random forest, for example, to tackle the same task? Then you're gonna get a result that looks like this. So this is a lot cleaner segmentation. Let's compare them side by side. When you do the histogram threshold based on the segmentation, you get decent result, but you see a lot of kind of noise like speckles. And another thing you see is weird framing of different phases. I'm gonna show you uh, zoom up. So in the threshold based segmentation result, you see those red and green lines or frames around the yellow face. You don't see the same problem uh, in the machine learning result. So those frames are not real. This is actually an artifact. And this artifact happens because of the partial volume effect. Now to understand what's going on, I'm gonna use this kind of simplified cartoon version of two phases. So we're looking at an interface of two phases. I'm gonna just call them black phase and white phase. And when you image this interface, you're gonna use a finite size of voxels like this. And let's take a look at the center voxel. So this voxel is not gonna give you a combination of a black and a white phases. This voxel is gonna give you just one gray level number, which is an average. And in the same manner, all other voxels will give you all different shades of gray. Now, after observing this image with a limited size of voxel, you end up having the white face, the black face, and this kind of artifact gray face. And this is what we call the partial volume effect. Now, let's go back to the original image. So in this example, you can see at least four distinct gray levels. And let's zoom into the interface between phases one and four. So this is an interface of phases one and four. There's nothing in between, but there are intermediate gray level pixels in between because of the partial volume effect. If you're trying to segment this image into just two phases, one and four, then you wouldn't have a problem because those gray pixels will be labeled either as one or four. But in this case, we have phase three and phase two that are kind of in between gray. And that's why those phases two and three will show up in the interface as this artificial frames. And that's how you get those frames. You don't get the same problem with the machine learning. It might be easier to see here. So you see the red phase kind of framing the green face. Again, you don't have the same problem with the machine learning. And other than this um, kind of framing artifact, you also can get rid of those noise-like speckles. You don't have those in the machine learning segmentation. So this is why when you have a more than two phases, you probably can get cleaner segmentation by using either machine learning or deep learning. 